the next thing we're going to do is analyze the position. With the position, we need a standard, okay? Something that we can start from. We can't have the branches of the tree without a trunk. We can't have the hero's journey without establishing a home base. So that home base is this vertical axis in the neutral position, okay? So it's just this. From there, we go to a front and back tilt, okay? This is the head tilting up. I'm drawing with lines wrapping around, okay? And that center vertical axis where it crosses the horizontal one, it gives it a kind of front. And we can tell very quickly that this, the position of this person in space is looking down. The tilt is forward, okay? So that's forward and we have back. So very important to establish that axis first, because if we get that vertical wrong, then the whole drawing's wrong. So then we have the tilt back. Simple, easy, effective. From there, we go to side to side. Now we're off the center and we're tilted right to the left. Okay and tilt to the right. From there, I've seen my drawings and many of my students' drawings go wrong right from here because they get the tilt wrong. Okay, and finally, we have the twist. So we have the head twisting to the left, so you establish the center line, right? And we have a kind of front, right? So looking left, then looking right. See how I'm setting this up just step by step? Can't get lost. And to the right. And then we could even make it a little more complex, tilting to the right, looking down, you know, and to the left. Tilting to the right, looking down and to the left. Okay. So let's analyze this model here. And what do we see? Well, if I use my simple oval and I try to get that tilt. So here's my, my standard is vertical. She's off the vertical, right? I need to get that tilt right. And then she's gazing to the left. So I'm gonna kind of put a construction line where the brow is and draw around and then get that center line. So it's important to get the, the tilt, the center line, and then line up something horizontal around the eye line or the brow. And there we go. Now, another crucial thing is, you know, where are we? Are we on top, on the bottom, to the side? And since I can see, you know, if I use a little bit more construction here, I can see that I'm on the top. So I'm seeing front, top, and side, okay? We tend to draw things the way that we see them most of the time, which is straight on, which is kind of that, you know, that neutral position. If we go back to the neutral, right, this one here. And so our drawings tend to, we tend to kind of pull them back. If they're look, if the camera position is extreme up or down, we're not used to it. We kind of tend to draw things as if it's straight on. It's just kind of a, a thing we have to overcome. So <clears throat> getting the tilt and knowing that we're on top is um, good for us to know ahead of time.
right? Because then we know that we, we've we got to make our drawing look like that and overcome the temptation just to make it look like in a front-facing neutral position. Okay. So we've got the neutral, we've got the front tilt, back tilt, left and right tilt, uh, left and right twist. And then you, you just want to ask yourself, do we see the top? Do we see the bottom? Do we see the side? And you're good to go, okay, for the position. All right, that wraps it up on this lesson for finding the position of the head in space. I cover all this and much, much more on my online course, Mastering the Art of the Portrait. So head on over to drawjuice.com where you can find both the boot camp and the mentorship versions of the course. Don't forget to give the video a like and please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. Oh yeah, and make sure to leave a comment because that means a whole lot to me when you do. All right, we'll see you in the next one.